Right then, first quest for the open vlog of two th Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Welcome now to the Quest for the Open vlog this week, and yeah, some uh, pretty big news. So, teasing it for a few weeks, pretty much, um, and the last few days specifically, but I've switched over to Addy, and yeah, I'm, I'm slightly excited about this. So this vlog, I'm going to be getting some practice in, but also just explaining about what this move means, what it's going to provide as far as content is concerned, also try and get a little bit of practice in, and have a look at my swing, what it's like after a long break away. Plus, I need to go post some packages and go out into Manchester. I have a glamorous assistant today. Also it looks like I'm gonna get a very uh, early test out of these waterproofs today. It's just, it's just beautiful January in the UK. It's a real special time of year. So those parcels, one, Jonah who won the putter competition on Instagram very well done and then the other one was an iron which a lesson left after his lesson Mark it was so close to being on eBay it's lucky you caught me over Christmas it's in a very good mood Manchester just basically made of plants. It's my favourite wall ever. Did you see the email that somebody sent you about your hair? This place, by the way, Miller Manchester Grindsmith. Um, strongest coffee you can ever have. So if you are feeling a little bit tired and you need a boost, and you have a strong stomach. <laughs> come, come here. You'll, uh, you'll not regret it. First initial test of the gear in a non-golf environment has been absolutely fine, um, even though it is bloody freezing up here at the moment in time. And it's been a, an interesting process actually making the change from Galvin to Adidas, uh, planning everything out and. Over the next few months, I'd expect to see quite a few different collaborations going on. So I've been chatting to them today about a few different trips that could be happening within the first few months of the year to go work with some different players and some different content ideas as well. So already it's starting to gather momentum and gather speed. Tiger shark shoes. They're called something, well, it means tiger shark in Hawaiian. Um, I'm not sure I want to pronounce it, just in case I get any wrong. These are going to be my rain shoes today. I am hitting the range once more. Didn't notice the shark. Yeah, really excited to actually get back hitting balls. So I've not hit any shots in about a month probably um, with the break that I had just before I went away on holiday, then holiday, then Christmas. I've literally not done any work on my game, so I have no idea, <laughs> literally no idea what is going to happen today uh, as far as how I'm going to be hitting it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go practice, film what I'm doing as well, come back, analyse the swing and just see where I'm at at the start of this year without doing any work. I can't imagine it being pretty, but it may be one of those times when you you take a break for quite a long time, you come back and you hit it absolutely fine. That does happen, we will see.
my body is after only a hundred balls there it, it it does take it out of you if you've not been practicing or playing for a while especially hitting off mats like that unfortunately it's so wet here there's no real grass driving ranges to go off so that's the one issue uh it won't be too bad tomorrow when i'm going back into coaching i've got a little bit of a gap in the afternoon so i'm going to practice off our mat at the quest golf studio which is much much more forgiving uh, on the hands and the wrist when you actually strike it. Right then, let's have a look at the swing, which was all right today, to be fair, uh, considering the amount of pain I felt at times, not so much any injury pain. Uh, obviously, that's been an issue over the last few years, but it was just sore and stiff and all the rest of it. So overall, it looks okay. Now, you can see here the Posture-wise is looking pretty solid. There's a few changes I want to make there um, as far as just getting me a little bit more comfortable over the ball. I feel I'm flexing and unflexing my knees quite a lot at the moment, just trying to find that right um, position that I want to be in. So I'm going to do a little bit more work on that. Also, you can see a little bit here in the takeaway. I am going up and outside a little bit, but actually as my swing progresses here, you can see that it gets into a very good position at half way so that's something that a lot of people do say um, about my swing on the comments but the start of the takeaway um, that's not as important as the top third of the backswing get myself into a decent position before I start down um, elbow is still looking in a pretty solid position at the top my right elbow uh, which is good so that's not flaring out and then my delivery down into the ball actually looks pretty solid the only thing i'm still struggling with is just getting that club traveling a little bit more off to the left hand side pull that up you can see that actually that is looking much better but this is me really focused on those feelings getting it from the range to the course that's one of the big things that's one of the big things this year and that's where hopefully the changes in the battle board are going to come in super super useful so let's round this video up shall we let's uh, just cover a few points that haven't already been made about this switch over so the first thing to say galvin over the last few years have been unbelievable they've been so so good and working with them has been a real pleasure so greg pierce managing director and tom Bilson as well they have been superb. They've been my direct uh, points of contact there. But I've met the whole team and they were all so, so nice. And it's made the last few years with them really enjoyable. And when the contracts came up for renewal, uh, basically I had a choice of multiple different clothing manufacturers who wanted me in their stuff. And it really just came down to a couple of things. First of all, the guys at Addy were really really just resonating with what they were saying with what I want to do with my channel how I feel like I can push it forward and then the opportunities for extra content that I wouldn't be able to get with anyone else because whenever you're making a decision like this and I mentioned this in a video um, a couple of days ago you've always got to weigh up the pros and the cons not only for me personally but what it also means for the content the extra content that it can generate for the people who watch the videos. That's the value proposition that you've got to be looking at. Is it going to give value to the people who watch the videos? And the discussions that we've had and everything that we've spoken about, that is going to happen. And I'm, I'm so excited to be able to show you guys some of the stuff that we're going to be able to do. It, I, yeah, I can't wait. But everyone I was having conversations with, so all the different apparel companies, they were all offering and they were all giving really interesting opportunities. But in my gut, I I just felt Adidas was right. And that's the only the only way I can describe it. The, the message that they try and give out, what they're trying to do over the next few years, how that relates to what I'm doing and where the brand sits as far as not only in golf, but the entire sporting market. It just felt right. And yes, there'll be lots of giveaways. <laughs> so that's it guys, that's the first quest for the open vlog done for this year. And it's been, yeah, quite an opening so far. I mean, the YouTube space and social media in particular, in the beginning at the beginning of January this year has just gone absolutely mental. It's like everyone's come back from a Christmas break, absolutely enthused and energized, and I am very much with them. Um, 
what I'm going to be doing from this week onwards is kicking off with the Battleboard stuff, getting the Quest for the Open vlogs really happening how I want them to. Uh, obviously, this is an announcement video, working on my swing, but still yet to get out on the course this year. I think that should be happening next week. Today's just not really been possible with the weather at the moment. So that should hopefully be taking off next week. Then we've got all the practicing and so much other content to do. January at the moment, as far as traveling is concerned, is a little bit fluid in some respects. So nothing's been confirmed, but I could be flying to um, three different countries on three different continents. I need to go back to geography, but it, it could go crazy. February looks the same. This year potentially could be doing the most traveling that I've ever done, which is exciting. And the content again, that it should produce should be amazing. I've just got to make sure that I get that balance right between coaching, uh, obviously, which I'm very still, still very passionate about, my first day back tomorrow, which I can't wait, in over a month after the break, with the battle board, with the practice, with the comps, with all the content. It's so tricky to strike that balance right. Um, and hopefully I can do that, but we will see. Right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, like this video and share it around if you can. Comment below, let me know what you think, and we'll see you down here next time. It's gonna be a crazy ride.